meditation brings them back to life. The families of these soldiers who have learned transcendental meditation after these experiences in Afghanistan and Iraq, they are so grateful because they have their husband again, their father again, living with them, enjoy. Transcendental meditation, after three months, the veterans experience significant improvements in the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, which is anxiety, depression, insomnia, alcohol abuse. And this is a similar result. This, this was already done in 1985 with Vietnam veterans, and they have seen the same results. So, the consciousness-based program, we can conclude, works on individual level and on collective level or national level and even international level, global level, as we have seen. Permanent groups of yogic flyers are necessary to sustain, to create and sustain this effect. Groups can be established with students in military academies or schools of Romanian armed forces. The technology is easy to learn. After a few months already, the prevention wing is ready for action, is operational, and can create right away this effect which I have described. The program provides a new military exercise, a very nice and comfortable exercise, complementary to conventional military training, and there is no need to change the present system of defense. We just add this new system, this new strategy. The highly effective program is, of course, also very cost effective. It does not cost very much to train these soldiers in transcendental meditation and advanced technique compared to the cost for aircraft or tanks or ships or any other military equipment. So, our recommendation is to introduce it also to in the Romanian armed forces. There's nothing to lose and everything to win. The yogic flyers, the yogic flying military students, literally change a potential enemy into a friend. And now let's look conventional armor. We speak about a good army if the army is able when the enemy comes and penetrates, invades the country. If our army is vigilant enough, well equipped enough, and well trained enough to stop the enemy and throw the enemy back across the border, then we have a good army. A very good army is an army which is more vigilant, which is faster, and which can stop the enemy at the border so that it does not come into the country. It shows it and prevents from coming into the border. This was the good and the very good army. The invincible army is an army which is able to visit the enemy at home where he lives and change him into a friend, so that his intention to attack is just transformed into friendly behavior. So they are friends. This is the strategy of the consciousness-based defense, which I have presented to you. Such an army creates a national strength from within it's not the weapons which protect a nation. It is a strong, national, coherent, harmonious, integrated consciousness which protects the nation. And with such a technology, we operate beyond space and time. 
The unified field is beyond space and time. Our armed forces operate beyond space and time. The enemy cannot reach us. But we can reach from this level of the unified field any point in space and time. This is our strategic advantage over the enemy. And we change him into a friend. This technology creates strength from within. It creates an invisible protection shield for the whole country, as shown in this graph. Because national weakness, national weakness, incoherence, crime and everything, is an invitation to the enemy to attack. It's like a weak immune system of the body which invites foreign invaders. With the prevention wing, the nation is strong and needs not to fear any other nation. It needs not to feel threatened anymore. No more fear. And it gains a state of absolute national security, absolute defense, invincible defense. Thank you for your attention. <coughs>